Today I'm going to be reviewing products from Anthology Candles. anthology candles through various Disney accounts that I follow on Instagram as well as a lot of bookstagrammers. They have a website as well as an Etsy site. Links will be provided down below. They take inspiration from Disney but also from other things such as Lord of the Rings. I've heard that they've also had Outlander candles in the past. This probably isn't accurate, but basically anything that's ever had a fandom, they've been inspired by it or will be inspired by it. Items go in and out of their store depending on what's popular. Some things are limited edition, so if you see something you like, you have to grab it. I'm going to do a recap of everything I bought, starting with these scent cubes. I don't know the technical term for it. But these are for warmers. As you saw in the demo, I have a Scentsy. You stick one cube in there or as many cubes as you want. You can stick the whole box in there if that's what floats your boat. It heats up and it lets off the scent. You can put it in bathrooms, bedrooms, kitchens, wherever you want to put it. This first one is Rivendale, inspired by Lord of the Rings. One thing that bothers me is that there are descriptions of the scents 
for the big candles. There aren't descriptions for these cubes. There's only a list of what scents they have. And since there's no candle available for Rivendale, I don't know what this scent is, so I can't give you any information. I wanted to be a fan because it's Rivendale and it's Lord of the Rings. Unfortunately, these smell straight up like Play-Doh. It smells slightly clean. Like, it actually smells pleasant today. <laughs> it's been sitting out maybe. Yeah, it smells a lot better today, but when I first got it, it heavily smelled of Play-Doh, and when I put it in my Scentsy, it still smelled like Play-Doh. Next up is Wilderness Lodge. I have not put this one in my warmer yet, but I know I'm going to like it, especially around Christmas time. Wilderness Lodge has a mix of forest trees, a custom mix of pine, juniper, and spruce, and campfire. Next up is Soaring Over. It's actually in my Scentsy. I've been warming it every night by my bed. I've been going to sleep to the scent of oranges because this is inspired by the original Soaring Over California. Reminds me of home because I grew up in Orange County. Soaring Over is orange blossoms, orange groves, and salty sea breeze. Are your Jack Sparrow senses tingling? Because last, up is the Black Pearl. This is inspired by the ride at Disneyland and Disney World and probably other Disney parks because it's a classic. It is not the most pleasant smelling scent at first. They say it's inspired by the pirate sea water in the ride and I do get that but I can't quite explain it. It's just funky. <laughs> I put it in my Scentsy and it actually smelled better. If you're really into not like really sweet or floral type scents, you're into more of those like musky type scents, you might want to give this a try because if you put it in a warmer, it doesn't smell half bad. First note, musty pirates water. I wonder where they found that scent. Uh, mildewy wood, mmm, my favorite. <laughs> Salty sea breeze, better. Cannonball smoke. All right, I mean, it's basically like campfire. The musty water and the mildewy wood, <laughs> that's what you're gonna smell. <laughs> Moving on to my mini candle sampler pack. First up is Belle's Library, this red one. The interesting thing about these candles is I feel like every day when I smell them, I smell something different. This one, more often than not, it smells nutty to me, which I really like, but I also get rose. Now let me tell you what it actually smells like. Aged library books, wild roses, hint of leather. I don't know if I'm mistaking the aged books for nuts, I don't know. It kind of smells like a tree <laughs> or like some kind of plant that grows flowers and nuts together and you get the scent all in one. I mean, that's just what I'm getting. Next is Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Sometimes I get a fruity floral scent, but I get like a lemonade, kind of like an iced lemonade type drink. I don't know. This is... <laughs> chamomile tea, bakery cakes with vanilla icing, twist of cinnamon. So I was close. An icy. That's what it kind of smells like is an icy. Oh wait, I did kind of just get vanilla. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting some of those notes, but I'm mostly getting an icy. Next up is part of your world. This one just smells very fresh with like a light floral note over top. It is crisp coastal breeze and warm golden sand. I am just nailing this right now. When I picture the beach and I hear those notes, I'm like, yeah, I, I could close my eyes, smell it, and think beach. It smells really nice. 
slightly vanilla. I'm done. <laughs> Last mini candle is Tink's Flights. Okay, so smelling it, it's like a very pleasant floral scent. But then, if you smell deeper, there's hints of citrus. Tink's Flight is sweet coconut, fresh verbena, and tangy lime. So for Tinkerbell, this is supposed to be like sweet and sour. The last thing I bought was one big candle, and it's actually the candle they just came out with. It was going to be limited edition, but they just announced that it's going to be staying in the store. This is Floating Lanterns, inspired by Tangled. You saw in the clip how beautiful it is when it burns. I'm sure all of their other candles are great, but the aesthetic of this one, the way they did the three different colors, the ombre effect, when it burns it actually looks like a lantern out of the lantern scene in Tangled. Genius. Before it burnt, if I'm remembering correctly, it smelled very clean, lightly floral. The white layer is clean river water. The middle lavender layer is bright florals and the bottom purple layer is a blend of water and flowers. If you're having a tangled party, you could get a bunch of these and lay them around. It would look gorgeous. Moving on to the nitty gritty. We have to talk about the pros and the cons. These mini candles. They come to you like this with the wick folded down. The problem with that is when this wax gets on the wick, it will not burn. Since the wicks are so small and delicate, trying to wipe it off without breaking the wick is extremely hard. I left a little bit of my struggle in the clip of these candles burning. It took me several tries. I had to trim them a little bit, wipe them gently with a paper towel. I wasted a lot of matches. Then once I got them burning, I couldn't smell anything at all. And obviously because they're so tiny, I didn't want them to burn for a long time. So I only burnt them for 10 minutes or so. The only way I smell something is when it's not burning and I just hold it up to my nose. They're really pretty colors. They look pretty when they burn. If you're not expecting a scent, except when they're not burning, it's up to you whether you want to pay this price. I think it's better to think about what you want and take a gamble and buy one or two bigger candles. I'm going to talk about the Scentsy Cubes and the candle together because these do smell unlike the mini candles, but the scent is so subtle. If you're buying these products expecting a really strong scent within a few minutes, these are not for you. If you're sitting within a foot or two of this candle, every once in a while you're, you're gonna get a whiff of the scent. It doesn't just hit you like it's not one of those products. It's very subtle. Same with these. So, Here's what I'm going to recommend. I do think these are really cool products. The idea of it is really cool. I would recommend these products for two things. As I said, you can smell them if you're within a few feet. So I would only recommend these if they're on a table by your bed or if you're watching TV and you have a table right beside you. Second reason I would recommend not the scent cubes, but the candle. I've seen a lot of these on Bookstagram. People don't burn them, they use them as decoration because these are novelty items. They have a color and a scent that are supposed to make you think of something. That is it for this review. I tried to be as kind as I could because I really did enjoy these products. I just wanted to be able to let you know 
how I think they can be best used. If you've purchased different products from Anthology Candles, I would love to hear about your experience in the comment section below. If you found this review helpful and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to become a member of my YouTube family and receive notifications every time I upload. I will see you in my next video. Bye!